Hi guys, my name is Alec and in this video I will show you how to export and import WordPress posts. For this step-by-step -step tutorial I will use two of my websites to export and import blog posts from one to another. The first one is alekonline.com, which I use to create WordPress tutorials and where I have published three NAMI blog posts. The second one is alekstarnevich.com my official website with no published blog posts. To export all posts from Alec Online, I will go back to my dashboard, hover over Tools and select Export. On this page I can choose what I want to export. When I select Posts, WordPress provides options like categories, authors, dates and status. As I only have three dummy posts, I will click the Download Export File button. The export file will be an XML file which I will save on my hard drive. Now that the file is exported, I want to import it to my second website. I will go to alexstanovich.com, open the dashboard, hover over Tools and select Import. The import page will open and as both websites are built using WordPress, I will select the last option from the list and click install now to install the WordPress importer plugin. To activate this plugin, click on run importer. When this page opens, click the choose file button, select the exported file and click the upload file and import button. You will be asked to assign posts to an existing user. I will select myself, check this download and import file attachments box and click submit. As I only have three posts, it will be done in a second, but if you import 50 or 100 posts from another website, it can take a little bit longer. If I go to my post page, all three posts are imported and published with their assigned category from the previous website. If I open my blog page, all posts with their featured image are here. And that's all for this tutorial. Now you know how to export and import WordPress posts from one website to another. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button below. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to stay updated on future tutorials. This will make it easier for others who want to find this video and this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the following video.